Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, just about ready to go here. Now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Los Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA! Iceman! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. out right striker versus well-rounded fighter who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place oh really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there well done to catch the kick we'll see what he can do it oh significant strike attempt there but a huge block and it shows. We're trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, he missed with that right hand. And he can 
strikes there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He is all about that left kick to the body. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Another shot lands upstairs. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs hit. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Fourth we go. Just out of range with that right hook. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Counter punch attempt here, no good. Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, going back to the uppercut, well, nearly connected. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Big kick lands. Just misses there with the left. Hands on your face. Good punch. Uppercut to the head, instead it's blocked by Lee. That goes back to that left kick once again. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses with that one. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and he counters effectively with a jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this matchup. Lost that kick to the body. Nice. Round one winding down here. Oh, power tie. Five minutes in the books. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Big knee lands to the body. That punch will work right through the guard. Ross's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, combination lands, and it seems 
like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, nice punch there by Frost Joe. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Over and over, he's landing with big body kicks. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. And they separate. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Beautiful strike. Frost gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. Now connects with a right. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big kick lands. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop that, John. Stop it. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Frost. Misses again with a right punch. That strike blocked by Frost. Powerful leg kick land. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice punch by Isaac Frost. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Real sneaky body kick. Ross gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. Nice punch, man, over the top. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, missed on that one. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Lead kick is true there by Lee. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And 
at some point these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Nice punch there by Foster. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Punch over the top. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Circling to his right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice sneaky head kick. Frost's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Effective punch there by Frost Joe. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Liver kick. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh! Head kick. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Luke. Checks the leg kick. Oh, big head kick lands. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Lee. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, ice cold. Frost gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Unable to connect this. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, and that kick is blocked. You can't take too many of those big elbows. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Visibly limping here. And they separate. Oh, and he caught the kick. Tags him with the uppercut. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds remain in the round. We got to whip this hip into that kick. Back and forth we go.
Well, you can feel that Breeze Octagon side after the swing and a miss that's by Frost Joe. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Big kick lands. Circling towards the left now. Missed with that right hand. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, ice cold. Frost gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice kick. Whiffs on the right hand. Big head kick. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Nice punch here. All right, single collar tie now. Oh! And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice head kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, big head kick. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Straight right hand, no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Kick. Able to check that kick as well. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Well, late in the fight, and clearly it's been a dominant performance for him. And he's had to lean on that cardio. Assuming he's not a fan of him tonight. Cardio in a video game comes down to who's butt masses and who's actually playing the game. The guy that's actually uh -huh. playing the game has better cardio. Look at that bar. Stop button press and learn how to play the game. Just missed with the left there. Slips to avoid the right. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity.
So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon! There he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish.